Okay. Well, with you, man, get, getting into you, um, at, the last time most people saw you, you fought Joe Smith Jr. for the world title, but you've you fought twice since then, and you've gotten two stoppage victories. Um, yeah. Well, where do you feel like you're at right now in your career? No, I feel great. I mean, I, I, I have had a lot of inactivity in the past, so I still feel good, feel young. But um, now, you know, I have people that are moving me, and, you know, I have opportunities, so it's a lot easier for me to train harder year round and um knowing that you know i have stuff to look forward to you know like around the time when i fought joe smith i, I had lots of inactivity and yeah. i didn't even you know i was just like i was just not really in that mindset of you know the champion lifestyle and all that stuff you know I, that was the last call i was expecting to get was to go fight for a world title but it was too big of an opportunity to turn down you know like the kind of condition i'm at now there's I'm no, I was like I'm, I'm nowhere the, the way I was in Joe Smith fight I'm nowhere near as good as of a condition I got like how I am right now I'm like ridiculous condition <laughs> Joe Smith I'm like I, I'm looking at the pictures from my body now and from then you know it's a big ass difference yeah like that I was gonna ask about that too because I mean I, I follow you on Instagram pretty closely and it seems like your body's in better shape it seems like you know, you've been training a lot harder. You know, you can't always go by Instagram because Instagram is not real uh, yeah. per se, but but it looks like you really are training harder. Yeah, yeah I'm listening. Yeah, I'm saying it, look, it looks like you really are training harder. It looks like oh, you're in no, better I'm, shape. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was in nowhere uh, the right condition for uh, that fight. You know, it's just one of those opportunities. Um, I definitely wasn't living right and stuff. And I definitely didn't know uh, that I was going to have a world title fight, you know? Like, uh, that's why I tell people, I was telling somebody today, I said, just knowing that you have a fight coming up, let alone a world title fight for Joe Smith, knowing it's his first world title defense, you know, you got to just think what his mindset was going into camp and working out and doing all that stuff. So it's a big difference. Okay. I saw uh, I saw at the Derry, at the Derry Beach Boxing Club. You met you met Mike Tyson recently. What, what was that like? Yeah, I met him before years ago when they when he had the Mike Tyson promotion. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, but um, uh, he he was actually at my fight at the Delray Beach uh, Tennis Center, and um, yeah, man, cool guy. He seems real chill, relaxed. He, obviously, he loves boxing and stuff. So he popped into the gym, checked it out. So he's watched me spar years ago. I'm not sure if he remembers me, but. You know, it was pretty cool. I mean, Mike Tyson's a, a legend, you know. He's probably one of the, you know, most recognizable uh, sport figures of our of our time. You know, like anywhere he goes, any part of the world, everybody's going to know who that is. So it was pretty cool to have him in the gym. He's probably one of the most famous people, period. Like, who doesn't know Mike Tyson? Exactly. Like, he and, – and back then when he was fighting, people were fighting. It's not like – people were really world champions. Like, it's not like now – it's Vegas, Manhattan. People they were fighting in Indonesia, fucking Japan. They'd go to Japan. They'd go to Memphis, like random little states in the United States, like stuff that we don't you don't really see now. If it's a major fight, it's Vegas, Manhattan, occasionally Texas. LA. Else, yeah, LA. Those it's like three it's only three big places where they put the mega fight. But back then, you know, they were having fights in Memphis and Oklahoma, like random aspects. Yeah, South Florida. Yeah, we have more exactly. cards here. So okay, you know, we got. Some, I thought it, I thought it was pretty cool. We got some comments for you, Steve. Uh, my, my, my man, passionate puncher says, "Let's run it back with Joe Smith Jr." No, yeah. absolutely. Um, you know, I've I've got two wins since, and um, I'm hopefully uh gonna close out the fight. Ho hopefully, I'm gonna close out the year with uh one more win. And, you know, next year, you know, probably fight in January, February. And then after that, you know, I'm looking to step up in competition and be prepared this time. You know, don't want to get caught lacking anymore. But that's definitely a fight. I, I, I think it's a winnable fight for me. And uh, that's definitely a fight I'd like to take again, you know. I, I, I remember um, when you when you fight last fight, I don't know if you fought. I, I, weren't you supposed to fight for like an IBF international title or something like that? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I was supposed to fight um, some guy from overseas, but 
the thing fell through and the sanctioning fees were I think it was gonna cost my people like sixteen grand or something, but oh it my was gosh. yeah, I don't know. It was it was gonna it was gonna be a lot of money. It wasn't really worth it. So when it's time to happen, it'll happen. But I did get a WBA uh NABA thing, so you know, each fight will step it up and then I'm sure they'll uh, call me for one of those soon. You know, I keep getting wins. You know, if I'm going to be busy as much as I uh, plan on being. Okay. But yeah, uh, I definitely want to fight Joe Smith again. That would be great. Yeah, I, I want to see because I because you know, I remember when I first interviewed you years ago. You were like uh, one of the one of the things you, you said to me was um, I'm trying to sign with a big promoter and all these kind of things. And you know, time time went on. And then now you got the call, then you got the call for Joe Smith and like I've been knowing you for years so like I knew that I felt like that wasn't the best Steve just watching yeah, you in the ring that that wasn't anywhere close to the best Steve. No, no, absolutely. I mean, I I wasn't prepared at all, but it was just one of those opportunities you didn't want to turn down. I tried my best, you know, for the condition that I did have, but um, you know, even after you know it opened up a lot of doors. Like I'm, with the guy that I'm working with now, Jeff Torres, he he believes in me even though after watching me lose. He still, um, you know, wants to invest money in me, keep me active. And actually, as a matter of fact, but I was injured because my shoulder was injured, uh, my labor from the fight. But um, they had called me to fight Colin Smith, I think, or Colin uh, Super Middleweight. He's in my yeah. headway now. Yeah, Colin Smith. Yeah, yeah um, he was a Super Middleweight champ. When, when they called for that? Uh, it was supposed to be on the Tyson Fury card, like his last fight. Wait, what? Uh, uh, Dillian White. Yeah, 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 but um, yeah, but uh, I was like, no, I'm not taking any more short notice fights or anything like that. And I was injured at the time too, but so at least my name's still in the mix. So I'm sure I'll get another opportunity. Yeah, no, I'll be good. Uh, if if you got the call for Callum Smith now with the condition you're in, w w uh, how, how do you feel about that matchup? Oh yeah, that's a great matchup. Um, I mean, uh, I still want to camp. You know, I, even though I am in great condition now. You know, it's a, I think it's a whole different thing when you're training and you know you have something big coming up. So I would still want to camp and stuff. Like, I'm not desperate to go and just take any short notice fight. But, you know, those are the type of fights I, I would like to get in there and and do. But, okay. you know, right now the, the, the thing is to stay busy because there's a lot of mandatories and all those type of things.